Hi everybody. I received a request uh, for a quick demo for how neural net might work um, in timing solution uh, on an intraday basis. And as you may know from watching other videos, I'm very interested in one week increments. I want to know what's going to happen in um, one week increments, not <clears throat> longer, not shorter. Um, and I'm using uh, four hour bars here um, on the Euro USD. Um, and I'll take you through a quick setup. There, with the neural net and timing solution, there are probably thousands of possible combinations. Um, so um, it takes some experimentation, but I've been very uh, involved with cycles <clears throat> and spectrum um, that there's a, a way to do that uh, exclusively um, and do a cycles calculation and put that in as a training um, set of criteria. So let me X this out and show you how I did that. <clears throat> So click neural net and first thing is to normalize the price. Um, so um, you can choose any number of things through here. Uh, RPO, relative price oscillator, is a favorite one. But I'm going to go with um, the Larry Williams percent R rate of change here. Click try it because all of this price action has been normalized to a pretty regular straight line. I think that's pretty good, so I'm going to say OK. Then on this very first button here, click that and extract cycles from spectrum. You know, there are lots of possibilities. There is a library, uh, there are various astronomical you know, cycles. Uh, you have to do a lot of astrology. Um, it would take hours and hours to even begin to find all the possibilities, much less run them. <clears throat> but I'm going to extract cycles from spectrum. And if, because I'm working on a one week time frame, um, I'm going to look for shorter cycles. The seven period cycle has been popping up in Bartels a lot. So if I put this back to 30 bars on a four hour time frame and recalculate, um, here's my seven day right here. So I'm just going to click because I know this to be a good cycle. And then I'll hit these major peaks. Oh. And then you're going to send all these cycles with the selected button and click OK. And then OK again. And let's train it. So you hit training. And you can experiment with how long, how many epochs to train the neural net. Um, so I'm going to pause this video right here and let this train for a bit. Okay, um, somewhere uh, between two and three epochs is, is enough for now. You can experiment how long to let it go. So I'm going to hit stop and then hit main window and then panel. Now we're back into the main panel and let's bring this up. And checking out the action from last week. It's not bad, it looks pretty good. Um, and it's showing the upcoming week um, down through midweek and then up, but mostly a down week again. So um, experiment. Uh, of course do a lot of back testing before you rely on it and see if this works for you. Take care.